Welcome. This video deals with the answer to question 10 of my second quiz on global warming. It deals with the question, when has most of the global warming occurred? Here's the original question. Question 10. True or false? Most of the rise in global temperatures occurred before 1940. This plot is the origin of the claim that most of the global warming occurred prior to 1940, thus implying it has not been caused by greenhouse gases, as they have been increasing most rapidly in the last 50 years or so. But this plot is very suspicious, as it does not look like any of the other plots we see of global temperature anomalies. It does not look like the ones from the Hadley Center, or from NASA, or from NOAA, or from UAH, nor any of the dozens of other climate research groups that track this quantity around the world. Something is fishy here. Let's take a closer look at the plot and see if we can find out what. The plot rises quickly from 1880 to 1940, dips until 1975, and then slowly rises after that. First take note of the dates marked on the plot. The box labelled 1940 points at a peak in the temperature plot. However, that peak is in the pink area marked post-war economic boom, which correctly starts in 1945 as shown on the bottom axis. Next. The box labelled 1975 is beyond the 1980 point on the graph. Something is screwy with the time axis or the labelling, but anybody can make a simple mistake like that. No harm, no foul. So I decided to replot the graph and put the labels in the correct place to see what it looks like. They conveniently tell us where they got the data from. NASA. So I went to the NASA Climate Data web page and downloaded the data. The link is at the bottom of the page if you want to do your own analysis. I then plotted the data from 1880 to 2005 just like the great global warming swindle guys did. Or perhaps, I should say, as they should have done. Again, I get something that looks nothing like their graph. There is a flat period from about 1880 to 1995, whereas their plot shows a steady rise. And there is a relatively flat period until about 1975, after which time global warming really takes off. After a lot of experimenting and puzzling over this, I believe I figured out what they might have done. They divided the plot into three parts. First they took the 1880 to 1940 section and locked off the first 30 to 40 years and expanded the scale so that 1910 was moved back to 1880, leaving the 1940 point where it was, as shown in red here. Next they took the 1940 to 1951 section and expanded it to cover 1940 to 1980 and increased the size of the dip to make it seem as though the temperatures had dropped. Lastly, they took the 1980 to 2005 data and squished it down so as to suppress the increase in global temperatures. This, of course, is speculation on my part, but is there any evidence that this is indeed the case? Apart from the data looking completely wrong and the inconsistent dates on the original plot. Look at this section of the original plot shown in the movie. It is a completely different colour than the rest of the plot. And if you look closely, there is a hint where the two curves were joined. So what should the plot really have looked like? Here is my plot superimposed over theirs. I've used a five-year linear boxcar smooth to take out the bumps and wiggles in the graph. This is the standard approach in climate plots. And the only change I've made is that I've made my first point coincide with theirs. That is a shift of a plus 0.03 degrees centigrade. You can see that the two plots look nothing alike, yet they're supposed to be plotted from the same data over the same time period. Now let's add the correct arrows. The levels are determined by a linear fit to the 1980 to 1910 period, the 1935 to 1975 period, and the 2006 to 2011 data, which isn't shown for consistency reasons. Which arrow is the largest, the pre-1940 arrow or the post-1940 arrow? Not much doubt, is there? So the answer to question 10 is false. The recent bout of global warming has been by far the largest. So when you hear this argument in the future that most of the warming was before 1940, you can tell whoever is using it that it is bunkum. Keep safe. Bye for now.